If you're constantly doing the same tasks on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac, then there's an easy and free way that you can start saving time right now. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create automations to streamline your everyday life with Apple Shortcuts. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we make more time for our members by supporting their daily work with automation and AI. If you'd like to learn more about X-Ray and our services, check out our website at xray.tech. To see more automation tips and tutorials every week, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'm going to take a little break from our typical focus on business tools and instead explore some simple, free software that you can use on any Apple device. I'll show you two different ways to create automations with shortcuts. We'll start with a shortcut from Apple's gallery that uploads photos to Dropbox with a single tap. Then I'll show you how to build a custom automation in shortcuts that plays music whenever your device connects to a Bluetooth speaker. These are just two examples out of thousands of automations that you could build with shortcuts, and they're a great way to learn how shortcuts work. Let's get started. As I mentioned earlier, there are two types of automations you can create with shortcuts. You can build automations that run on demand whenever you tap on their button or you can create automations that run on their own based on conditions like the time of day, your device's battery level, or whenever you open a specific app. We'll start with an on-demand shortcut from Apple's gallery. This shortcut will let you automatically upload the latest photo on your device to Dropbox with one tap. To begin, open up shortcuts. It should already be installed on any Apple device you own, like your Mac, iPhone, iPad, or even Apple Watch. The icon for shortcuts looks like this. Once you've opened up the shortcuts app, then select gallery. In the gallery, you can quickly create shortcuts with pre-made templates created by Apple. To easily find what you want, just search the specific app or event you want to automate. For example, I'll search for upload, then I'll select this option for uploading a photo to Dropbox. You can tap on the plus sign to add any shortcut to your device. Note that some shortcuts from the gallery will immediately walk you through configuration options, while others won't. This just depends on what apps and actions are included inside of the shortcut, but you can always edit them later. Once you've added the shortcut, you can tap on All Shortcuts to see it in your library. To edit and configure an existing shortcut, just tap on the three dots in the top right-hand corner of the shortcut. Then you'll see each action that the automation performs with several configurable options. This automation starts with a step that retrieves the most recent photos on the device and lets us choose how many photos to get. You can set any number you want here, but I'll just leave it to one photo for now. The second step saves the retrieved photo to Dropbox. This choice up top lets us choose whether or not the automation will prompt us to specify where the photo should be saved in Dropbox. If we enable it, then the next two options will disappear since these options will let us choose a single static location where every photo will be saved. I'll leave Ask Where to Save disabled and instead configure a single location where the photos will be saved every time. For the destination path, we can set a location and file name for every photo. By default, they'll be saved in the Dropbox root folder and every file will be named Workflow. Before the file name, I'll add a folder called Shortcuts. To help distinguish each photo, let's use a dynamic name instead. Choose Latest Photos next to Select Variable. This will let us retrieve unique data from each photo, such as its file name, width, date taken, file size, and a lot more. But the file name, which is already selected, will work just fine here. Now every photo we upload will go into this dedicated folder and each photo will have a unique name. Using dynamic data like this to name files will make your shortcut automations much better than using static data. We don't need to do anything to edit these last two steps, but it's good to note that after the photo is uploaded to Dropbox, the automation copies the URL for the newly uploaded file. If you'd like to add more actions to this shortcut, you can do so by selecting them on this right-hand menu. For instance, you might want to send a message containing the newly uploaded photo's URL to share your pictures with friends or family. Once you've added and configured all the steps you want in your shortcut, you can test it by tapping on the play button here. This will run the automation from beginning to end, highlighting each step as it starts.
Looks like it was successful. Let's check Dropbox just to make sure. And here's my uploaded photo with a unique name. Great. The shortcut works, so let's exit the configuration by tapping on this arrow. Now let's add the shortcut to the home screen. To do that, just tap and hold anywhere on your device's background. Then select Add, search for Shortcuts. You can add a widget with a single shortcut or a folder with several shortcuts. I'll just choose the single shortcut for now. If you want to change the shortcut in this widget, just tap and hold to edit it. Once your shortcut widget is all set, you can run it just by giving it a tap. I'll take a new photo. Then I'll tap on the Dropbox upload shortcut. We can see it run in this little progress circle. And it's complete. I'll check Dropbox one more time. And there's my uploaded photo. Perfect. We're all set to use this shortcut whenever we want. Next, we'll create an automation that runs whenever certain conditions are met. We won't need to tap or click anything to make it run. This automation will start playing a specific song whenever we connect to a specific Bluetooth speaker. To create an automation that runs on its own, select Automation. Tap on the plus button to create a new automation. Then choose a trigger, or in other words, the conditions that will make your automation run. Note that some automated actions and triggers in shortcuts will only be available for certain devices since not all devices have the exact same hardware, software, or settings. In the trigger list, you'll see several options. For instance, we can see the time of day, transactions, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings, battery levels, and more. To trigger this automation, I'll choose Bluetooth, which will enable the automation to run whenever the device connects to a specific Bluetooth accessory. For our configuration options, we can start by choosing a specific Bluetooth speaker. The automation will only run when the Apple device connects to that Bluetooth speaker. Alternatively, we could select any device to run the automation whenever we connect to any Bluetooth device. I'll choose these speakers for this automation. Next, you can pick whether the automation will run when the Bluetooth speaker is connected or disconnected. I'll leave it to connected because that makes sense. Then we can choose whether the automation will run after confirmation or run immediately. If you choose run after confirmation, you'll get a pop-up asking you to confirm the automation before running it. I'll set this to run immediately so it will start without requiring any input from me at all. The trigger is all set, so now we can add an action. You can either select one from the list or search for one. I'll choose play music in Apple Music. Then I'll select this music variable to assign a specific song to play. I'll choose this song, which is actually a little AI generated jam from udio.com. You can add more actions to your automations if you'd like, but I'm fine with this one just being a two-step automation for now. Once you're finished, tap done. Then give your automation a test. I'll connect to the Bluetooth speaker and the song starts playing. Perfect. Shortcuts are a great tool for shaving a few minutes off your daily tasks and automating your personal devices. They're totally free and just take a moment to set up, so try building your own today. And let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more Shortcuts tutorials on the channel. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow.